mean, you, I don't think I've ever had a nightmare that's worse than this. Mr. Mayor, one last question. You said you'd, you never believed you'd live to see anything like this, and yet in the past you've been one of the leaders in, in preparing for just this Absolutely. kind of thing to happen. Yeah, but you, 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 you keep, uh, you prepare for the worst, but you don't believe that it'll happen, and this is the worst. And uh, I can only say that uh, I thank God for the police department and the fire department that we have, because uh, this, this would be much, much worse. And I'm also very proud of the people of the city. We evacuated Lower Manhattan with literally thousands of people walked along with them, and they conducted themselves really, really, really well. Well, I appreciate your time, sir. Thank you very and much. thank you very much for uh, communicating all this. The mayor of New York, the mayor of New York, Rudolph Giuliani, in his last term, immensely popular with some, not popular with others, which is not relevant at the moment, but because he puts his finger... On, on something about New York, whatever you think of New York, no matter where you live in the country, this is a city which behaves pretty well in crisis. There's, a, there's this public spirit here in this city. You see it in blackouts, you see it in snowstorms. This is not uh, not the city of its uh, of its. Um, it's not the city that we often criticize from other perspectives around the country in times of crisis. So when the mayor says he's proud of the people of New York as well as the fire department and the police, one should not be surprised. But it is fascinating and terrifying to hear what he says. You prepare for the worst and you never believe it'll happen. And his emergency management headquarters right down there near the trade centers, which are no longer possible to operate, this is what they put into place so that in the worst of circumstances, government would have a place to operate. And they can't operate from there. They've had to move uptown because the police department and city hall are not operable, if you will, under the circumstances. And he, the mayor, you heard it yourselves, said he never believed he would live to see anything like this. True of many people. George Stephanopoulos in downtown Manhattan with an eyewitness. Yes, Peter, I'm here with Neil Stevens, who was in his, his apartment downtown early this morning getting ready for work as he heard the explosion. Neil, why don't you tell us what you saw? Okay, I was in my apartment. I was getting ready for work. I heard a large explosion, and uh, I thought at first it was thunder because uh, there was thunder last night, but there was nice weather outside, so I didn't know what it could have been. And I looked outside, and I saw some, some construction workers who were working on the roof of the building, for the building next to mine. They were looking downtown. They're all looking downtown, and I thought, I wonder what they're looking at. So I looked over, and I could see the World Trade Tower, World Trade Center towers from my from my window. And I looked over, and I could see the tower, and there was a, a huge gash in the side of it. It's about 10 stories high, almost the full width of the building, and uh, there was black smoke just billowing out of it, and uh, flames, large flames. And I thought, my God, I, you know, I don't know what happened, but a uh, huge explosion, and. Uh, that was pretty much it, and I uh, made some personal telephone calls, kept getting ready for work, and I was in the shower, and I heard the second explosion, and uh, that's pretty much what I saw. No, thank you very much. Sure. Peter, we also have some news on the evacuations. We've spoken with two security guards in the second tower who did say the evacuation to the second tower had begun. And we've also spoken with people who were on the 82nd and the 86th floor. So, so many people were evacuated. Of course, we don't have any sorts of numbers. One final note, Peter, I was picking up on what Mayor Giuliani was saying about the, the work of the firemen and the policemen. I would also add a word for the transit authority. The subways were, were terrifying earlier this morning, but all of the uh, employees of the transit authority did a terrific job of evacuating the subways, even though they were filled with smoke, keeping people calm and keeping them actually in the station so that they wouldn't go mm -hmm. out into the street as the as the suit was following what one other word peter right now the people who are working downtown are handing out these respirators because there is some concern that the buildings that there was a great deal of asbestos uh in the building so they're asking everyone downtown who is walking downtown if they're down there to put on these respirators and they're handing them out on the corners thank you very much george stephanopoulos who continue to work this story from as close as you can get to the disaster area but imagine a city that's sort of frozen in place uh, you saw a picture just a moment ago of the George Washington Bridge, which is closed except under very serious um, uh, security circumstances you can get across the That means that that's New Jersey on the other side cut off from, uh, from the island of Manhattan. All the tunnels are closed. The railroads are not operating, therefore, between New York and New Jersey. This, this island of Manhattan uh, is, is pretty much frozen in place at the moment while people wait and are reluctant to try to appraise the number of casualties that have been, uh, that, that, have been that have occurred in the World Trade Centers and their related areas.